please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Plant High School. My name is Andres Matatat. Today is Friday, January 17th, and this is Panther TV. Flag football conditioning will start Monday, January 27th. You must have an approved athletic application on file before you attend. Please see Coach Conte in room 12 for more information. Teachers, today is the big day. Be sure to swing by the teacher's lounge for this year's active facility chili cook-off. And just a reminder that after school tutoring resumes when we return from our three day weekend. You can come Tuesday through Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30 in the Media Center. Please see Ms. Perez if you have any questions. Now, let's check in with Blake Heyer for sports. The action is off campus this evening with girls and boys basketball traveling to Wharton for a 6.30 tip off. Also wish the wrestling team luck as they head to Five today at noon for their tournament. That's all we have for sports. Back to you, Andres. Thanks, Blake. And now for some words of wisdom. There's an epidemic spreading. Scientists say it can change your brain. It can release dangerous chemicals like formaldehyde into your bloodstream. It can expose your lungs to acrolein, which can cause irreversible damage. It's not a parasite, not a virus, not an infection. It's vaping. Hey, you get the beer this time. Can I help you? Hey, uh, I'm under 21. Can I have a $250 fine? Sure. I'm underage too. Can I get 24 hours of community service? Of course. I'm only 19. Can I have my driver's license suspended? Why not? And get my alcoholic beverage license suspended too? When minors attempt to buy alcohol, it's illegal, it's costly, and it's dangerous. It's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. Would you jump out of a plane with no parachute? Of course not. That'd be stupid. Would you go to Antarctica without a parka? Of course not. That'd be stupid. Would you go into a burning building without protective gear? Of course not. That would be stupid. Then why are you still driving without a seatbelt? That's all we have for you today, Panthers. Please stay tuned for some last-minute reminders. My name is Andres Madatat, and I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs>